Hey everyone, Cafe Man here, and today we are going over Gorilla Mine Sour Watermelon Candy. Where did this drink come from? Well, it came from Gorilla Mine, but 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 they didn't even announce it. Well, have they announced it yet? I'll have to check on that. But as of the making of this video, it hasn't been announced yet. I'll tell you more about it coming right up. Logan, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And in today's video, we're going over the Gorilla Mine Sour Watermelon Candy. As I mentioned, this drink kind of came out of nowhere. Usually they make these announcements like a week or two ahead of time, but I actually saw the can on Energy Drink Josh's page. He let me know that he got it at Vitamin Shop, and this is gonna be a Vitamin Shop exclusive. So I went to my Vitamin Shop, picked up a can of it to review for you guys. And like I said, there wasn't any announcement, but I just looked today and saw that they did actually post a reel about it so the word is finally starting to get out and uh, this is going to be my tuesday video which is the 29th and uh, it's actually it's already released by the time you see this video so it's being released on august 28th if you didn't know i record on the weekends and i actually picked this up a couple of days ago but the official release is august 28th so be sure to head to your vitamin shop if you want to try out the newest gorilla mind and it's an interesting flavor because uh there aren't a lot of sour watermelon candies out there i can only think of one sour watermelon candy out there so we can kind of tell who they're competing with oh no i'm sure it's just a coincidence that yeah yeah i don't i don't know there's a big to do on youtube with people that are, you know when you have a youtuber as big as derek from no plates no dates there's always going to be someone starting a little controversy so so they actually did some people did posts saying oh there's going to be a lawsuit and stuff because because the word lawsuit always attracts attention on youtube videos because people can't help doing clickbait videos and youtube does nothing about it but they were saying that these two cans right here looked very very similar and that they were stealing it from somebody else and and in my opinion, I'm like, listen, there's only so much information you can fit on the can. Only so many places that you can put it. Are they identical? I don't really think so. Are they similar? Well, yeah, they're similar. But like I said, where else are you going to fit that information on there? So to the best of my knowledge, there isn't any lawsuits yet. I think that that other company isn't as petty as places like Monster who sue everybody. They're just like, hey, they're doing their own thing. We're doing our own thing. Best of luck to them. And now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and actually, I forgot to tell you, before we taste it out, uh, if you do want to know everything there is to know about Gorilla Mine, I did a long video going over the ingredients, if they give you effective dosages, a taste test of the first few flavors, and a little bit behind the company so you know who made this product. And even though that video is a semi-long video, uh, Derek of More Plays More Dates gives you a video that is just about three times longer than that. To, to, to give you more details on it. So there is definitely a lot of information out there about this drink. And since I have reviewed every single Gorilla Mine since then, be sure to check out my channel for those reviews. There's only one thing left to do in this review, and that's go ahead, let's taste it out. And yes, I am on this side of the room. Uh, if you didn't know, I do have a second wall of cans. Normally I record on the other wall. It's got my Cafe Man fridge. It's got a little bit of a different setup, but I do have over a thousand energy drinks that I have reviewed on my channel. And even between these two setups, it doesn't even show all the cans. So so if you guys if you guys can't see all the cans and you want a can tour, I actually did a video right there that is a can tour of all the cans on my shelves. But don't go there now. I will include a link at the end of this video to make it easier for you guys. And if you guys do want to know a little bit more about me, you can check out caffeeman1.com. And if you don't want to know more about me, you can actually go there and save money on energy drinks because I do have all my coupon codes listed there. And I even have a newsletter that you can sign up for that you get only once a week. No junk mail going over what I went over last week and what will be coming up this week. All at caffeeman1.com. Let's take a look at this can. Hey, here's the can. Me, I'm a fan of the can. Uh, I sometimes like simplistic designs. They're giving you a nice bold color on the can and this one is a little bit off red so it's not red because they had a darker red for the tiger's blood it's also got a nice teal blue in the logo and the logo is really big on there they're going with the face of a gorilla and a big brain for gorilla mind keeping it nice and simple and if i don't want you guys taking this can from me all i gotta do is go like this and it is pretty much impossible to see let's taste it out
clear cut. Let's save that. So for your carbonation, I do think you're getting a medium to high amount of carbonation. For your sweetness, I do think you are getting a high amount of sweetness on the low end of high. And whenever I review sour drinks, I also rate the sourness so you guys know how much sour is in it. And I would say you're getting a medium amount of sour out of here. They didn't go too strong with the sour that really makes you like pucker, but they gave you enough sour in there so you are getting a good amount of sour. And there have definitely been companies that sometimes they name their drinks sour and they're not really that sour. Sour. They're very low on sour and they probably shouldn't even have sour in the name. But with a medium amount of sour in there, you can definitely taste the sour. So they are A-OK -okay to have sour listed on the can. And for your flavor profile, I am going to give it a high flavor profile. Each and every one of the Gorilla Mines have had a high flavor profile. They've also had a high amount of sweetness. They are really punching in the face with powerful flavor. So if you like strong, solid, sweet, potent energy drinks, Gorilla Mine's gonna be the brand for you. And I don't think they go too over the top. I don't think they're sickly sweet, but I do think for the powerfulness of the flavor, they're always giving you a strong flavor. So let's talk about that flavor. Uh, we already talked about the sour being kind of a medium sour. And for the watermelon flavor, it's interesting because they didn't go too strong and sour and overpowering with the watermelon flavor, but you definitely do know it it is watermelon and they are definitely giving you the candy flavor i would say if anything uh you're getting really good blends of those three flavors you're getting this sour in there you're getting this watermelon in there and you're getting that sweet candy flavor that may seem obvious since it is sour watermelon candy but not all the names are accurate when you look at the other energy drink companies and i really do think you are getting a third sour a third watermelon and a third candy there's nothing really sticking out as this being a super strong watermelon flavor or super strong candy flavor or even overly sour they're giving you a great blend of all of those flavors making for a really great flavored drink so where is it going to be going on the caffeine man rating chart Believe it or not, I do actually have three different lists. I have a sour list to compare all the sours. I have a watermelon list to compare all the watermelons. And I have a candy list to, 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 whoa. No, no, I have there to rate all of the candy flavors. So, so right as of right now, I'm not even sure what I'm going to put up there. But once again, it doesn't really matter what you compare it to. So, oh, this one might matter what you compare it to. So, so yeah. I'll have to I'll have to put that one definitely up there because it's the same flavor category. But in looking at the caffeine man rating chart, the moment you've all been waiting for or, or that you skipped ahead for. A lot of people don't like that chatter chatter chatter. But I am gonna be giving this a 9.5. Yes, 9.5, an amazing score. And even though it doesn't beat out the other one, the caffeine man rating chart is based on flavor alone. And I think the other one gave you a more sour flavor and a bit stronger of a watermelon flavor. And since this is titled sour watermelon candy. I think the other one was a far more potent flavor, but if you're someone who doesn't like the ovary puckery sour, this is a touch lower in sour flavor, but still a super solid sour watermelon candy flavor. I really think it's well balanced. So another great job to Gorilla Mind. All the Gorilla Minds have scored really, really well. So I highly recommend you checking out those other videos. And these drinks have been hard to find since they first came out, but they have been gaining in popularity. So to be able to get a vitamin shop exclusive for this flavor, is amazing and i heard that they are going to be coming out to other supplement stores best price nutrition just did a video as well on gorilla mind and they announced that they will be getting gorilla mind soon as well and you can save 10 percent off at best price nutrition when you use coupon code caffeine man they also have lots of other supplements including pro hormones pre-workout protein and a whole bunch of other stuff because it is a supplement store and you can get free shipping on any orders over 99 dollars. i did want to finish up the video over here so that i can let you know 
that these are a lot more cans that I have just in case I was blocking them when I, when I was doing the taste test and you didn't see them. Because like I know, I know people from my comments want to see the cans. It might not be important to you, but it is important to some people. And since that is true, you can check out my can review right over there. I took the time to show you every single can that I have displayed on my shelves and the list is just growing. If you want to see that first review on Grill of Mine, you can check out that video right there. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourselves a great day or night.